What's up, it's Who the F is JC, your unofficial junk food connoisseur, back again with another snacking related video. Now this might be one of the weirdest snacking videos I've ever made. Now I've tried some weird items that have come out, uh, different potato chips that taste like body parts, uh, different fl weird flavors of uh, pop, different flavors of candy canes, like macaroni and cheese, hot dogs, Caesar salad. But this right here might be the craziest flavor of ramen noodle I've ever heard of. It is called breakfast. That's right. Ramen noodles that taste like maple syrup, pancakes, sausage, and eggs. Wow. So these are super, super, super rare. They're very hard to get. They're only available at Walmart. So uh, if you want to know how to get your own, make sure you pay attention to this video. I'm going to have a link down in the description on how I found a Walmart location near me that had them in stock. So I'll reveal at the end what you need to do with that link. So make sure you watch through the whole video. So now, uh, cup of noodle, not cup of noodle, like everybody used to think they were called, or they used to be called and they changed their name, but whatever. Cup noodle has come out with breakfast ramen. So essentially it's supposed to taste like maple syrup, pancakes, eggs, uh, and uh, ramen noodle sauce. I don't know. Is it going to be any good? It seems incredibly strange. And uh, it even says that there's pieces of egg and sausage in here. So we got like freeze dried eggs, freeze dried sausage. It's, it's gotta be one of the most ultimate chemical foods known to mankind. So that's why it's right up my alley. So uh, we're gonna follow the directions and get it open. I'm gonna open it up and fill the cup up to the fill line. With, ooh, look at that. Oh, ooh, you can smell the maple right now. Like it smells like maple syrup. You can smell the syrup. Look at the yellow pieces of egg and the sausage in there and all that sweet, sweet stuff that's cake into the noodles. So I'm assuming that's going to be the fill line. So we're going to fill up with water, throw it in the microwave, and we'll catch you back when we're all done cooking the noodles. We just cooked the ramen. You can see the steam coming from it. Maybe if I hold it over my black shirt, you can see the steam coming from the cup. Uh, so it's cooked in the microwave for four minutes. They tell you to give it a minute to cool. So we're going to let it cool down. And I'm gonna let you know how I got my own cups of the cup noodle breakfast ramen. So in the description below, there's a link to Walmart and it's a Walmart product finder. So you can put in your zip code and it'll tell you if there's any Walmart locations near you that have the cup of noodle breakfast, okay? So once you're there, you're gonna to want to add a few to your cart and try to check out online or you can go straight to the location near you that says they have them in stock. But just know, there's been a couple of times I've tried to purchase them through there, and they're like, oh, sorry, this product is no longer available. So keep your fingers crossed that even after once you put your online order through, that it might still come up empty. These are super, super hot right now. They're going for 20 bucks a cup on eBay. Um, super limited edition. But again, use the link in the description. Go to walmart.com, put in your zip code, find a location near you that shows that they have them in stock and then I would just try to buy some with an online order and go to in-store pickup and keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. Cross your toes, cross them all. Cross whatever you can, cross your eyes, cross your balls. Cross them and hope that the product will be there when they go to pick it and make it available for you when you go pick it up. So, um, I think we're getting close to a minute. My kitchen reeks of pancakes and sausage in, in a good way. It smells good in here. It actually smells like somebody cooked some breakfast food. And when I smell the cup of ramen, it smells awesome. Like, it makes me want to eat this real bad and hope that I enjoy it. But I feel like it's not gonna be good. Like, my stomach turns a little bit just thinking about pancake syrup and ramen noodles. Like, it's almost like something Buddy the Elf that Will Ferrell plays. It's almost like, a, like an item he would make. The syrup and the noodles and all that stuff, but you can kind of see in there. So you still see the eggs and the sausage. You can see some of the sauce starting to accumulate on the, the side I'm tilting it on, but you can see some of the eggs and sausage in there. Some of the seasoning and stuff are on the inside of the cup from the, uh, the four minute cook, but uh, we've let it sit. So I'm gonna bust out some chopsticks and give this bad boy a taste. But again, you want to get your own. The link in the description, find a location near you, buy them online, schedule a pickup, go get them, or make it your way straight to the Walmart that shows that they're available 
in store using the product finder link that is in the description of this video. So here we go. I don't know if you want to wait till I, I get my review on whether or not they're good or bad or if you're just adventurous like me with, with foods and you love chemical foods and you don't mind a little bit of science with your nutrition, then give them a whirl. But it smells delicious. It smells like a savory pancake, if that makes sense. Like it smells like it's going to be like savory, but there's a little hint, a little hint of syrup that isn't off-putting. So it seems super, super hot. We got some noodles here. So we'll see what the noodles taste like. Here we go. Cup noodle breakfast ramen. Here we go. Now you can tell everybody you saw James from Dave and Chuck the Freak blow a bunch of noodles on video. Yeah, I'm blowing, I'm a noodle blower. I like my noodles big, thick, and long. Blow them until they're cool enough to put in my mouth. Okay, let's try this now. It's actually not bad so far. Not bad. Now, it's really just like you're eating like sweet, like you're eating sweet ramen. So if you're used to some Asian flavors that have like a like a sweetness to them, you should probably be right up your alley. Like, I'm not mad about these right now. I'm trying to find some chunks of sausage and egg to try to eat here. But that first bite was fucking really good. Like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I thought I was gonna be sick to my stomach. But I mean, the noodles are good. Uh, nice, tasty noodles. The syrup inside. I mean, they say you can add more syrup if you want more syrup. I don't know that I would need more. I think that would make it more like less of a, a meal and more of a dessert. But let's get another bite in here. Now I can tell you these probably won't be for everybody. Um, some people are probably gonna think these are disgusting and I get it and I get why you would. But this chemical man who loves chemical cuisine thinks it is delicious. Let me see if I can find some of that egg and sausage in here. Yeah, a little piece of egg, a little piece of egg. Oh man. Hopefully the counters are clean. So. The egg almost gives me like a like a like a tofu vibe. Like if you get ramen, like if you get ramen from a restaurant and there's like chunks of tofu in there, that's what I'm getting from the egg. So I feel like if the sausage is anything like little pieces of beef or pork or something that they would put in the ramen, it's just the sausage, a little piece of sausage there. Son of a bitch. That piece fell on the floor. Let me try it again. Oh, it fell in the cup. It's right here. One and ah, fell in the cup. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Mm. Now the sausage, it tastes like breakfast sausage, like very, very cheap microwave dinner breakfast sausage. If you've ever had those meals as a kid, um, like real, real super cheap sausage, but it's a cup of ramen. This thing is less than two bucks. Less than two bucks at Walmart. Use the link down below in the description. I don't get paid for any of that or anything like that. I'm just trying to help other fellow junk food enthusiasts experience uh, a cup of noodle breakfast ramen. But uh, sausage is kind of, kind of a cheap sausage, but again, it's $2 for a cup. The eggs give you more of a tofu um, kind of vibe. I'm not directly picking up pancakes, but delicious noodles with like a, like a, a sweet, uh, syrupy, kind of savory, syrupy sauce. And it's way better than I ever imagined it would be. I will easily eat this entire cup. Delicious. Just super, super hot, super hot. Burn in my mouth, but cup of noodle, breakfast ramen. Holy shit, if you can get some, it's worth a try. Some people might think it's disgusting. If you don't like sweet, syrupy stuff with uh, noodles, this might not be up your alley, but uh, again, cheap little pieces of sausage not the best but the egg that's in here gives me more of like a like a tofu kind of feel and uh 
yeah, follow the link to find out if there's a Walmart near you that has it. And uh, like I said, hurry up, buy them online, schedule in-store pickup, uh, or race out there to Walmart to get it yourself. So that's it. Wow, who would have thought? Breakfast ramen, good. Mind blown. Every time I've gone into a taste test thinking it's going to be disgusting, I've been falling in love. So breakfast ramen, i got to finish eating this up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the review, please like the video. Drop it a like down below. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you enjoy my content overall, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, let me know down below, what's the craziest ramen you've ever tried? I know they got some real wild ramen flavors out there. Let me know, what's the craziest one you've ever tried? And uh, until next time, sayonara, sucker!